Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I like to remove wrinkles from clothing. So this technique typically works with clothing that is solid in color. Um, it tends to work a little bit less with clothing that has patterns on it. So this is the end result here of what I have done and I'll show you the before. So that's the before. Um, we've got a little shadow right there. We've also got some wrinkles over here and under the arm. So this technique is going to show you how to clear that up. What I'm going to show you is similar to frequency separation. Let me just get rid of the finished version. All right, so we're gonna assume that we have edited our picture. I've taken away wrinkles on her face. I've done anything I wanna do to the hair, neck, everywhere else around the image. So let's pretend that I've merged all of my editing layers here into this background copy layer. What you're gonna do first is duplicate the background copy twice. So you're just gonna drag to this little piece of paper here with the dog ear on the corner, and that's gonna give you two copies of this layer. You're gonna name the top layer high, and you're gonna name the bottom layer low. Once you've done that, to make sure you are selected on the low layer, and you're gonna go up here to filter, you're then gonna scroll down to blur, move over to Gaussian blur, and select Gaussian blur. Your radius is gonna be 3.7 pixels, and then you'll click OK. After that, you're gonna select the high layer. Once you're on the high layer, you're gonna to go to Image at the top, Apply Image, and your settings are gonna be for layer, you're gonna select low, the low layer. Channel is gonna be RGB. You wanna make sure that the invert box is checked. Your blending mode is gonna be add. The opacity will stay at 100%. Your scale is at two. Your offset is zero. And preserve transparency and mask, make sure they are not checked. And then you're gonna click okay. So you're gonna get this. And what this is creating is a sharpened layer or a detail. I like to call it the details layer because if you turn that off, your low layer is gonna be blurry and this is for your tones. And then your high layer is for the details. So if your layer looks like this, your high layer, if it looks like this, you're going to change the blending mode to linear light. All right, and so that will basically allow you to see through the filter that you've just put on it. Next, you're gonna go back to the low layer and you're gonna use the healing brush tool on the low layer to paint over the wrinkles. So you're gonna alt click on an area of clean shirt and then paint on the wrinkles to remove the shadow areas. Okay, it will remove a lot of the wrinkles that don't have creases in them. And the ones that do have creases in them, we are going to fix on the high layer. All right, so we've got a little crease right there. And then you'll, of course, work on this at your own pace. But I'm doing this fairly quickly so that I can show you how to get to the next part. This crease right here, this crease right here and under the arm. If you wanna get rid of those, you're gonna to go to the high layer. Again, you are going to hit the Alt button in order to select the area that you want to sample from. And then you're going to just brush using the healing brush over the creased wrinkled area to get rid of the wrinkles. And that's it. So there you have your before and after with the wrinkles removed. Of course, you can do more or less as you so desire on your own image. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know if this has helped you out in the comments. Thank you guys for watching.